but uh, we drove afterward to the uh, Ohio County Airport and uh, were riding uh, back to Washington, D.C. And uh, John F. Kennedy was very tired and he rather slumped in one of the seats in the plane and uh, in the darkness of that uh, cabin, I heard a voice and he said, uh, Jennings, uh, what's going to happen in West Virginia next Tuesday? And I said, well, I think you're going to win and perhaps by a very substantial vote. And he said, well, the newspaper men and the magazine writers don't say that. And I said, well, I believe that they're wrong, that you will win. He said, that makes me feel better. And he went to sleep. I just thought, Governor, you and Representative Moore and those that we're having the privilege of talking with might like to know that little story of the meeting here and perhaps the aftermath. Well, I wasn't up here at that particular time, but uh, back in Charleston about uh, a day before, uh, I'd say it was Friday or Saturday night, uh, he and I were uh, standing at the uh, bell stand in the Daniel Boone Hotel talking about the campaign and said he didn't know whether he could win and John Bailey would just give him her latest reports I guess and he had the indication that he wasn't going to be winning and uh, I told him that I couldn't see how he could miss but uh, still he was uh, determined that it was going to be all right and uh, that's one of those fond memories you have of a great man who certainly was a friend of West Virginia's. Archie what do you think? Well Governor and uh, Senator Randolph I would uh, I recall very well uh, I wasn't particularly worried about uh, the senator's uh, problems in West Virginia because uh, the people I talked with uh, in, uh, in the opposition party, uh, very frankly, they were enthusiastic about it. And I, I made one of those rare predictions that we guys in politics <laughs> stay away from. I said he'd get 60% of the vote in West Virginia in that primary, and of course he came so very, very close. And uh, I think that it is just might as well be said again here as it's been said many times. Uh, West Virginians had and still have great affection for the late president and for his family. And they felt uh, a tie there, which is hard to explain perhaps, but to me it was very deep uh, and very, very sincere. 